having the console name, sometimes people do call and they're like, well, it's a console. What kind of console? I mean, that does, I mean, that's happened that, to me and answering that, the phones, and I answer very infrequently. That has happened quite often. But knowing the basics, what kind of console and what your problems are and call letters, it's always it's always the simple stuff to start with yeah, that kind, really gets kind it Kind of rolling. like what we've already discussed to mm -hmm. have that basic information so when customer service or sales guys or whoever picks it up they have an idea who it is they're going to be talking to mm -hmm. and what sure. the issues are going to be. It's, it's back to expediting right. their needs and, and the best way to, to, to help them do that is for to have them as prepared as they can be before they call. Right. I go back to my read the manuals before you call in and, and, <laughs> the, and the ABC analogy. You know, the, the manuals are the, the alphabet of our products. A lot of people don't have their manuals. They've lost it, they've misplaced it, they've thrown it away, Give whatever the case may be. Quick place to go download it. So they can download it or at least look at it <coughs> on the website. Um, I've been guiding customers more and more to that. Um, answering phones myself uh, just last week Thursday I think it was a customer said I need help right now and I got his name and, and didn't know his call letters uh, knew he was in Texas I believe and I said well what type of console sir and he said I don't know it just isn't working <laughs> I said, okay this one's gonna be fun <laughs> <laughs> a serial number helps too if they have because yeah, especially when they want to know if something's help. covered under warranty they say oh, is it warranty well what's your serial number that's that right. can help us a lot that's right and a lot of times they don't think to look at that and it's usually pretty prominently displayed I mean you have to look at the back of your console or the bottom Sometimes of or the a blade bottom. or a yeah. but a rack mount unit but in the older consoles it was actually inside the console yeah. so you know we when I get on the that, phone I, I have to say well how old is this console where am I telling him to look for it okay inside mm. the console <laughs> that does help though yeah the more they can be prepared that way it because helps that us way be can, faster too yeah because we can pull it up by serial number and know exactly what it is yep so the more information they're armed them. with when they call right. in the quicker they're going to get helped it's really what it amounts right. to as whether that's technical knowledge or a serial number or mm -hmm, ship right. date or whatever, it's all going to help them get as their answer. As far quicker. as sales orders, for me, a purchase order is just invaluable Definitely. with information on it. I mean, a purchase order that has its own purchase order number that we can reference when we talk about it um, and specifics of what they're ordering because, you know, the audio arts line is off the shelf and if they want a phone module, then they put the phone module on there and they're going to get the phone module. So a very detailed purchase order is really invaluable and for our international customers as well. The more information they put on there the better, like if they have a specific shipper or freight forwarder that they want me to use, then I know immediately when it's ready who to go look for right. to set up the shipping. And So the more information they're armed with, the better right. when they That's call. Right.